So we're looking here at raw height data for an agglomeration of nanoparticles. What you can see is that the sample has a little bit of slope to it. And in order to make this presentation or publication ready, we want to process it so that uh, all the details are displayed properly. So there's two different options that typically get used, flattening and plane fitting, and we access those through the modify panel in our software. So we have a built-in suite of image processing tools, as many of you know. The key difference here is that flattening operates on a line-by-line -line basis, whereas plane fitting operates on the entire image as a whole. So flattening, we have a few different options, 0, 1, 2, 3. Those each correspond to the order of the polynomial that's being used on each line. So let's try a first order flatten to start. And what you'll see is that when I click flatten here, each line is going to be fit to a y equals mx plus b line, and its average value will be 0. First thing you might notice is that there are these pit-like features that show up on the edges of the sample. And these are non-physical artifacts that arise because the sample in the middle is tall. And so to compensate for that, the edges of the sample must be low because it's trying to fit the data to a line. You're going to want to click Ultra Restore Layer to be sure that you're looking at the raw data before you do any processing. So now let's take a look at plane fitting, which remember is operating on the entire image as a whole. So here we have a couple of different options where we can fit a first order polynomial in just the x direction, just the y direction, or in x and y. And so I'm going to click x, y to demonstrate what happens here. And what you can see is that the details of the sample have actually become quite clear, and there are no artifacts associated with it. So this is much more accurate in terms of representing the true details of the sample.